Hey there, everyone. Uh, I don't know how to start a video, so I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna make an intro or anything. Instead, I'll tell you what's going on. So what's going on is the world's going crazy, and I'm bored, man. I'm so bored. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, and then I would respond to them, uh, in a, in a YouTube video, which don't know where that idea came from, but oh, why not, man? I'm, I'm bored. I'm really, I'm really bored. So, let's, let's start. Let's, let's do them, alright? We got a lot of, we actually have a good amount of questions. We have a good amount of questions here. Um, I won't have time to get to all of them. Uh, to get the, like, normal easy question out of the way with. Quarantine's great. It's boring as hell. I've been catching up a lot on sleep. Like, eight years of it. Um, but yeah, let's let's start with the first question. What's my favorite car? Uh, I don't like... I don't know. I don't really like cars. Like, cars are cool and all, right? Don't get me wrong. But I'm not a car person. I actually, I really like, like motorcycles. Uh, thanks to my, thanks to my grandpa. Good guy. Uh, how did I get into acting? So, I've seen... I saw this question come up twice, so I'm gonna answer it. So, how I got into acting when I was 10 was... I got into trouble with my mom and to change the subject i decided you know what i want to be an actor that's just what i said and i've said a lot of stupid things when i like get in trouble and i try to get out of it for example the first time i almost got arrested that's that's a good one which i'll make a video on if you guys want me to later on but uh yeah so i just decided i want to be an actor and my mom looked at me like i was crazy And then I went into an open call for a manager. The manager liked me. Thank you, Elise. Love you very much. Um, and Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Love you very much too. Uh, but they all they they seemed to like me, so they signed me. And then a couple months later, I landed a spot on the Americans, which was super lucky. It was the first thing I ever really did. And uh, yeah, I I was I was just super lucky. Um, all right, next one. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? All right, so it really depends on like the day, the time, but for the most part, my favorite thing to do with my free time is really just hang out with my dog, hang out with my friends, uh, play games, teach myself something new. That's that's pretty much my favorite things. Uh, favorite artist at the moment? Well, so I don't, I don't know. Favorite artist is hard for me because my taste in like, Mus musical artists change really fast but i would say right now my like top favorite i guess would be pop uh little tj 22gz chef and yeah that's pretty that's pretty much the top right now um last movie you watched in quarantine that's a good question. I actually don't think I've watched any movies really since quarantine. I've watched like stand-ups. I, I watched the new Burt Kreischer stand-up. Super funny. Uh, I watched the Tiger King documentary. Really cool. Carol definitely killed her husband. I can't say that. I'll, I'll probably remember to cut it out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So what's your favorite AFP? You know, favorite AFPAs? When did I become, like, Norwegian? Uh, what's your favorite FPS? Um, I would have to say Counter-Strike. Just, like, the series. Because I started playing Counter-Strike when I was... Nine? Eight or nine. Back in 2009-ish. Is when I started playing Counter-Strike Source. And... I would play Counter-Strike Source and Crossfire. And then CSGO came out. Then I just switched over to CSGO. Um... And I've been playing that really ever since. You avoiding the coronavirus. Yeah, I don't really go outside in general. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm doing a pretty good job at that. Uh, which friend is the best burper? That's a good question. Uh, I guess I would... I, I don't know. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I would say me. I can't, like, force myself to burp, unfortunately. But, like, when I have a burp... 
it is always like so good so loud so crisp <laughs> um when will our gameplay come out Ooh, that's a good question i will actually get back to you on that after i record this and edit it and post it yeah i'll get back to you though <laughs> Uh, if you can only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what song is it? Actually, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know. I would have to probably say... I don't have one. I don't, I don't really have a song that I would just listen to over and over and over. Actually, you know what? Either R&P by Corday or 2020 by Lil TJ. Those are both really good. Those are, those are really good. And they're not, like, hard or anything. They're just, they're just really good. Um, favorite Harry Styles song. What do you see in someone if you're looking for a relationship? Oh, like, what am I looking for when I, like, look for a relationship? Um, I think the, the main thing is, like, to, to sum up... A long list of things um because i i'm a little i'm a little picky when it comes to someone like i actually want to like be with um the main thing is someone who is adventurous ambitious and actually wants to like be with me so someone who will text me first sometimes someone who will want to come see me someone who will want to go travel with me someone who will want to like experience new things that they that might be a little bit out of their comfort zone someone who, you know like like that basically you know someone who's just someone who's fun someone who's interesting um all right what is your favorite episode of the americans the last one the last episode was just too good it was just too good I mean, the way that it finished the entire story, I think, was just perfect. I think it was just, like, I think it just, I think it just worked, you know what I'm saying? So I think that w that has to be it, like, yeah. Um, how old are you this year? I'm going to be turning 19 on October 22nd. Meaning, I am one year off from being 20. Come October. But miss you. I hope you're safe. Aw. I miss you too. Hope you're safe too. Stay safe. Make sure you, you know, isolate. Distance. Uh, when are you going to Mexico? That's a good question. I don't know. Hopefully soon though. I want to I wanna go diving out there now that I have my diving license. I really want to go like just, just dive in Mexico. So that'd be fun. I'll probably go soon. How are you coping in quarantine? Uh, yeah, I'm bored. I already said this. I'm, I'm really bored. Um, but yeah, you know, most embarrassing moment. There's a handful. There is a handful of embarrassing moments, and I'll actually make story time videos. I think that's maybe what I'll do. Maybe that'll be my thing. Maybe I make story time videos and like. And like like just like recap videos of just like life and the world and whatever um and just like ranting and talking videos i think that's what i'll do but anyway that's besides the point point is uh most embarrassing moment long story short i'll make it i'll make a i'll make a proper video probably about this one but like all my other embarrassing moment stories are more like funny and they're just better because this one's just so short and sweet but i um the the way i got there it is. Right there. Boom. That right there. That I got from ramming my face straight into a stop sign because I decided that it would be a smart idea to turn around, look behind me for no good reason, and not pay attention to where I was walking. So now I have a permanent split in my head. So that's cool. One of... Uh, mm. Has a song ever made you cry? Yes, yes, a song has made me cry. Um, 
The song that really gets me going, even now, is a song that reminds me of my aunt, um, who, rest her soul, is gone now. I got a picture of her right here. This is me and my aunt. So, yeah, love her to death. Um, but the song that makes me cry is Sweet Child of Mine. That song fucks me up because it reminds me of her. Um, how you holding up during Corona Apocalypse? Bored. I'm doing alright though. You know, I'm 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 going. I'm living. I'm chilling. Uh what have you been up to lately? Uh a handful of things. Um I have been doing work for cybersecurity. I've been trying to like learn as much as I can. I've been doing work for work. I've been trying to like learn more about my industry, watch more movies. Well, not movies, but TV shows. Just watch more, get more information about it, just really like surround myself with it um play games talk to my friends that's pretty much it oh i got a new dog yeah i got a new dog before all this went down um he's a good boy his name is donkey he's kind of a jerk but he's a good jerk he's he's only one he's huge um but yeah uh how and when did you get into acting uh i already answered that but basically if you skipped ahead, I was 10, got in trouble, I want to be an actor, I got really lucky. Um, okay, you know what, Alex, just for you, I'll read this one out. Why is Instagram user heterosexual the hottest and funniest meme page ever? I'll, I'll, even, I'll even edit your at in right now. Okay, go check her out, she is pretty funny actually. Um, hey buddy, what are you doing most while on lockdown? Actually, that's, that's a good spit on the question. Um, most sleeping. That's what I'm doing the most of. He really do be a YouTuber now. I really don't be. But maybe someday. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Yeah, it's the first time in a long time. Yeah. But no, I don't. I am... Um, single as a Pringle. But you didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me. Um, something people don't know about acting professionally. Uh, okay, here's a good one. Something that many people don't know about acting professionally is that it's actually really fucking draining. It will tire you out. It, it's one of- don't get me wrong, okay? Listen. It is one of the best. One of the absolute best jobs, okay? I love it. I enjoy it with all my heart. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Uh, however, with that being said, it is still very, very draining. It takes a lot out of you, both emotionally, physically, mentally, like the whole shebang, okay? Because you're basically being somebody else during that time, and you have to feel the way that person feels, and you have to be the way that person is, um, which even for five minutes really can get to you, depending on like the character, depending on what's going on. Um, but, I mean, yeah, like, it happens. Alright! Uh, the next question is, most memorable learning moment from actors on the americans there are so many uh, like when someone asks me that question my head floods with just like possible answers but i think like the biggest thing of like like the biggest tip i got came from matthew and carrie which was literally just be a good person like that was it that's all they said they were just like get her just make sure that you stay a good person and so i've tried but yeah uh J my thoughts on jake paul <sighs> he's made a lot of mistakes He didn't deserve to win the fight. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, that's really it. I try not to keep track of him. Because it's just like, it's not... I don't know, it's just not something something I think about. Uh, thoughts on iDubs? Oh, boy. Um... Listen, I think that the whole so for you, for those of you who don't know the idub situation uh he has a girlfriend who has allegedly done a bunch of bad things allegedly is a little snaky allegedly is a little bit of a clout chaser um who started in only fans okay and with that with starting in only fans people have begun to call uh idubs a simp and a cuck and things along uh, those lines. Now, I... I don't know. I mean, yeah, like... I don't think he's a simp or a cuck, necessarily. But the way he's handling the whole situation is super whack. And just not... I don't think he's handling it the right way, I guess. Like, he's just not... I don't know, he's just really... It's. It seems like he's trying... It seems like he is trying, but nah, I feel like he is definitely simping a little bit. What's your big toe size? So that's all the time I got for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. I really appreciate all the questions. Um, whatever other questions I see come in that really interests me, I will answer on Instagram, but I am gonna put a poll up there asking what you guys wanna see next. Actually, the story time video about my first time almost getting arrested, or, hmm. Or the story of what's been happening with me recently, which has been very interesting. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't know, I don't really know how to end videos either. But uh, yeah man, thank you, peace out.